It's time for a retro review of Danny Phantom. See, the, sto the story of Danny Phantom is pretty much how he got his powers. He pretty much was accidentally exploring about this machine the parents built and accidentally activated it. He got fused about this ghost powers. Supposedly, some goo stuck his DNA so his ability to become a ghost and also ghost powers, you could say. Yeah, it's kind of strange to believe that. It's kind of hard to like get into it because of that. And also, it's so cheesy the show really is. I mean, really? It doesn't help more if the, all the characters is pretty generic. I pretty much, if you put this aside, you could probably make the whole story up just seeing each character look look like, oh, that's the jock, that's the geek, that's the popular kids. But it's not all about the side characters, it's Danny. Danny pretty much sells the premise of this show. Actually, Danny's actually a pretty interesting character because he's trying to learn what he's supposed to do with the powers. I mean, he's kind of in the age, like, knowing who he is. It makes the show more interesting because you're just curious how he how he's gonna use it. I mean, each season is pretty much telling how the story gonna go. So the first season is pretty much telling him, telling us and the viewers, is how he, how he gonna become of this power, how he gonna use it. Second season is trying to convince the townspeople to trust him and become this hero. And the third is pretty much the conclusion of the show. Now, Danny Fenn's power is pretty much is a laser beam, laser shield. He go intangible and also a sense of the ghosts around him. That's pretty much what Danny's power is. But interesting enough, all the ghosts have very different and very similar. Some can actually do shields, others can do something else completely different. Some can control electronics, some people control boxes, others just move shadows. That's what's so interesting about Danny world you could say, because each villain or each character has their own power of ghosts. So now talk about art. The art style of this is pretty much normal, except the hands. I mean, a lot of cartoons only have four fingers, and except Danny Phantom only have five. It's pretty rare to see that, because only people who have five fingers are superhero comics. Now let's talk about the characters. Now Danny would be one of the first of the three main interesting characters. Kind of remind me of Spider-Man. He's weak, he's defenseless, he's, he's have trouble knowing who he is. That's what makes it so interesting. Now, the second interesting character is Jack Phantom. Jack Phantom is a, is a genius, a mouth mouth, and a dumbass. But all three of them and make all three characteristic make this character very interesting. He also helped Danny and sometimes doesn't. Now, the final interesting character, Plasmius. Plasmius is so interesting because he pretty much assessed with the family. Reason because one Phantom created him. Secondly, he stole the woman he loves. Maybe that's when the reason he's so obsessed with them because he wanted to destroy them and took his wife. But later on, he became more creepy, you could say. He wanted to sound exactly like Daddy. The most interesting thing about this show is Goat Zone. Goat Zone is pretty much is a zone of all the ghosts pretty much live. They have a bunch of doors around, so you could go any door, pretty much visit their homes or a different timeline. It also pretty much opposite of the real world. What happened to the real world happens to the ghost zone. It does have a very interesting intro. See, another thing about it is the show is a little bit too cheesy. I mean it really is. It's kind of something you just can't stand that very much. You want to change the channel. Now my rating of the show had to be at least a 6 because it's the charm of Danny. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment below. Please subscribe and have a wonderful day.